Hi, my name is Sultan Ahmed and today I'm going to show you how you can build conversational bot agent using Dialogflow's VX. Now, before we start our lab, let's briefly talk about Dialogflow CX. Dialogflow CX agent is a virtual agent that handles concurrent conversation with your end users. It is a natural language understanding module that understands the subtleties of a human language. In Dialogflow CX, they have the Visual Flow Builder, which makes it easy to understand, navigate, and edit complex flows. It also allows multiple different flows within a single virtual agent. They even have versioning and environment capabilities at the flow level. The state-based data model in Dialogflow CX allows them to easily reuse intents, entities, and webhooks. Also, access to an advanced analytics dashboard provides easy assessment of the model performance to better serve their users. Now that we have a little bit of knowledge about Dialogflow CX, let's start our lab. Now, I'm using Google Cloud Skills Boost website to do this lab, and we are doing lab GSP 928, which is Dialogflow CX for building basics. You can also check out this website. Here, we will create a bot for booking a flight ticket. Let's click to Dialogflow CX link to do the lab. Now, the first thing we are going to do is to enable the Dialogflow API. For that, you have to go to the Dialogflow CX console and you have to create a project. Click on the project section at the top of the page. Here you will see two options, create new project and view all projects. Click on view all projects to see the list of already created projects. Here you can select the project or you can create the new project as well. Let's create a project for this lab. Click on New Project. In this window, type the project name of your choice and click Create. And now it will give you the notification of your newly created project. Go back to the console and reload it again. And it will show you your newly created project on top. Select your project and after that, it will ask you to enable the API. Click on Enable API button. So after enabling the API, we are going to create our agent. Click Create Agent. Name your agent something relevant. In this case, I am going to name it Flight Booker. And pick Global from the Location dropdown. And then click Create. After creating the agent, Navigate to Agent Settings, General, and Logging Settings, and click on Enable Stack Driver Logging and Interaction Logging option. It will generate logs for this agent, and then click Save. Now your agent is created, but to interact with the end user, we're gonna have to create intents. Now, an intent categorized as end user's intention for one conversation term. Each intent is defined by training phrases and end users typically ask for each agent. So, you can define many intents where your combined intents can handle a complete conversation. Also, in order to reuse intents as well as make maintenance easier, Name your intents with clear and explicit names. Now, to create intent, click on Manage Intents and then click Create. Enter the name of the intent for this lab. Let's name it Main.BookApply. Now, under the Training Phrases header, you have to add training phrases to train your model. So now I'm using phrases that are given in the website. So let's just copy and paste these phrases one by one. And you have to click the enter after each phrase. Now all the phrases are entered on this training model. 
and you wonder that some words are highlighted because dialog flow has automatically labeled the entities such as date, place or number. After that, click save and now your intent is created. Now after creating intent, we will create flows and pages. To do that, click on build and then click start to open the page. From the expanded options on the start page, select the plus icon next to routes. And then select the intent main.bookerfly from the drop down and then click save. Next in the route section, click the main.bookerfly route. Scroll down to the transition. Here choose plus new page from the drop down. Name the page, ticket information and click save. Exit out of the window to return to the main display of flows to see your new ticket information page connected to the start page. The beginning of the flow now includes a greeting and will then proceed to the ticket information page when the main dot book applied intent is matched. Now on the ticket information page, you will collect parameters from end user so they can book their flight. So now let's create entities and parameters. Entities define the type of information you wish to extract from an end user. And when an intent is matched at runtime, Dialogflow provides the extracted values from the end user expression as our parameters. So now let's create our first set of parameters. Next, you will use an entity to extract a required parameter from the end user. Now, hover your mouse to plus by parameters and in the right side, you will see a section to create parameters. So let's name our first parameter as departure city and choose at the rate sys.geocity from the entity type dropdown. Scroll down to initial prompt fulfillment section and then in the agent section add what city would you like the flight to depart from. And then click save. Exit out of this window to make another parameter. Now click the plus by parameters again to create four additional parameters that are shown in your screen. One by one with the following name entity type and how the agent will prompt the end user. So when finished, they are listed something like this. Now the order in which the parameters are listed affects the order in which the flight booking agent will ask for each. And you can also easily change the order by dragging parameters up or down. Now once we have flight booking parameters, Next, we will create condition to route the end user to another page. Now exit out of the parameter window to return to the ticket information page again. Scroll down to locate routes and click the plus sign next to it. Scroll down to condition and then in condition rules, select match at least one rule. And in the parameter field, enter page.params.status Choose the equal sign in the operand dropdown and in the value field enter final and ensure you include the double quotes and then click save. Now after creating conditions we will add a response called fulfillment response to say to the end user when all the five of their booking parameters are collected. Now to do that, from the conditions you just made, scroll down a bit and locate the section called Fulfillment. Under Agent Says, type Thank you for that information. Let me check on the availability of your ticket. And then click Save. Now after offering a fulfillment response, you need to create a transition to a new page that will repeat back to the end user if the travel information collected, which are parameters, are correct or not. 
So continue to scroll down past the fulfillment you just created until you reach transition. On the page field, select the drop down to choose plus new page. Type confirm trip in the field called page name and then click save and then exit out of the window. Take a look at the flow and now it has three pages. Now another thing we are going to do is to repeat back the parameters collected from the end users. For example, we can have the agent repeat back a passenger's name like thanks for providing that information session dot params dot passenger name. So this displays to the end users as thanks for providing the information and then we have a name of the passenger. So now starting from the build view, click on the confirm trip page and then entry fulfillment and here click on edit fulfillment field. Since we use five parameters, we can repeat them back to the user via following session parameters. Add the following text within the agent says section and then click save. After that, exit out of the window to return your confirmed trip page. Click next to routes. Click the intents drop down and then click plus new intent. In display name, type confirmation dot yes. And in training phrases, type yes and then enter. You can add more phrases like correct or yep etc to improve the natural language understanding for this intent. And then click save. After saving, scroll down to the fulfillment section and enter great your flight is booked. And then click save again. Now click the back arrow next to the root. Now we have to add logic to root and end user to relocate their flight parameter if they say that the information is incorrect. So what we're going to do is to add a new root. So to do that, from the intents drop down, choose plus new intent. Name that intent confirmation.no in the display name field. Scroll down to the training phrases section and type no, click enter. And then click save. Next, scroll down to the section called transition and then page. Then choose ticket information from the drop down. Scroll up to the parameter presets and click add parameter. Enter the following five values and assign their value to null without the quotation marks. Now the purpose of this is to remove the value that was previously collected from the end user to allow them to submit a new value. And if this step is missed, it might result in an infinite loop scenario in your bot. And then click on save. Now exit out of the window to return to the build view. You will now see how all three pages flow. Note that the last page has two arrows between the confirm trip and ticket information page because the confirmation dot no intent is linked back. Now that we created our agent, let's test the agent that we created. So to do that, Click on test agent. Now we interact with the agent as if we are the end user. Let's type first that I like to book a flight and press enter. Now it will ask some questions to extract the parameters from the end user. In this lab, we gave five parameters to our agent which are departure city, departure date, destination city, return date and passenger name. So let's complete all the parameters and see what happens. So after taking all the parameters, it will confirming from the user that the information is correct or not. So just write yes and click enter. 
and in the end it will give us the confirmation message that our flight is booked. That means that the bot we created for booking a flight is working properly. And that brings us to the end of the lab. I hope this lab is valuable for you in understanding the basics of Dialogflow CX. If you have any questions about this lab or if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment and also do let us know about your experience with the Dialogflow CX. And if you like our content, do subscribe to channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.